Okay. So there's this guy named Joe, and he's depressed. He has a terrible life. He works at this office building, and it's just like the shittiest. It's not even an office building. It's like under the train tracks or something. It's just this little shack with a couple desks in it, and there's the lights flicker, and it's just awful. So Joe works here, and he's depressed, and he's like a hypochondriac, and he always thinks something's wrong with him. And he's just totally unhappy with his life. Um, Joe is Tom Hanks, by the way. So, yeah, Joe is Hanks. Hanks. Okay. So, um, he goes to the doctor all the time because he's he always thinks he's sick or something. And then one time he goes to the doctor and the doctor's like, oh, you got a brain cloud. And he's like, what the fuck? What's, what's a brain cloud? Doctor's like, I don't know. It's like a cloud in your brain. You're going to die soon. So now Tom Hanks has got this, like, disease. Oh, I think the doctor was, like, one of those doctors that was, like, he's, like, on his phone or something the whole time. He's, like, oh, I gotta go play some golf or something right after this. I'm, I'm too busy to be bothered with fucking Hanks. So, um, so Tom Hanks has got this terminal disease, or Joe's got this terminal disease. So he goes to work again, and his boss is, like, damn, fucking you're late and he's just like he, he has this awesome speech like right then he's just like this place the light sucks it out of your eyeballs or something like that and he makes this little weird noise he goes and um like because that's the light sucking the life out of him i guess because they're like shitty neon lights anyway um oh and at this office um meg ryan works there like you know meg ryan so meg ryan works there meg ryan actually plays three roles in this movie three different people and this is the first Meg Ryan. The first Meg Ryan is the, there's the brown hair Meg Ryan, the redhead Meg Ryan, and the blonde Meg, Meg Ryan. This is brown hair Meg Ryan. So, um, I think he's got a crush on all of the Meg Ryans, um, or has some sort of weird relationship with them throughout, throughout this movie. But in this thing, she's just like, oh, hey, Joe, uh, good for you, you're fucking, you're quitting, yay, so, um, yeah, he, whatever, he flirts with her, maybe, like, for two seconds, and then he quits his job, tells his boss to go, you know, fuck himself, or whatever, and we never see this Meg Ryan again, now, now we're moving on, so Tom Hanks is kind of in the process of reclaiming his life, he's like, I can, I'm going to do something because I only have, whatever, a month left to live. Um, so he goes and he buys some luggage and, well, he goes to, the, I think he's going to go on a cruise. Was it a cruise? Okay, I think he's going to go on a cruise. And so he buys some luggage and the guy selling him the luggage sells him ridiculous luggage. Like, it's like, like bigger than a car and he's got like four of them. Like, how do you even own that much stuff? Why are you bringing it with you? But he does and... So he's got all this ridiculous luggage. So he's on a cruise ship, I guess. And that's where he meets Redhead Meg Ryan. Now, Reg Redhead Meg Ryan, I think, is like one of those, like, New York Meg Ryans. You know, like, like hey, Joe. You know, like, that, that like Staten Island thing, I guess. I don't know. You think he's going to fuck her on this boat, but it doesn't happen like that. Uh, they just kind of flirt a little bit, and... Uh, I don't know. I, somehow the boat sinks. So the boat sinks. My, that Meg, the redhead Meg Ryan probably dies or gets rescued by a helicopter. I don't know what happens. Point is, she's gone. We're done with that Meg Ryan. So we're, we're two Meg Ryans out at this point. We're on. Joe's in the ocean and he's gonna drown in the freaking ocean. Except serendipitously, those big stupid luggages that some guy sold him. Oh, the guy selling him the luggage was like trying to rip him off. He's just like. Hey, this guy doesn't give a shit. He's got, he's spending all his money. Like, let me sell him the most unnecessary luggage in the entire universe. Like, suitcases that can fit compact cars in them. Like, why would anybody need that? So, okay, so Tom Hanks is in the ocean, and the only thing that saves him from drowning is his luggage. So, he climbs onto his suitcase, and he's floating alone in the ocean, just on his suitcase or something. And then he, uh, eventually, I think, lands on some sort of desert island, and, but it's not a deserted island, it's just a desert island, because there's this, uh, there's these natives there, and, you know, they live in, like, grass huts and shit, 
and there's also, or maybe they, um, yeah, okay, they live in grass huts, and there's also a big volcano. This is the volcano from the, the title, the titular volcano that Joe is going to verse. Um, so he goes to this, so he lands on this island, and this is where he meets the third, the third and final Meg Ryan, blonde Meg Ryan. Now we all know Meg Ryan is blonde herself, so this is like supposed to be like the Meg Ryan, you know, like the quintessential Meg Ryan. Um, so Joe is meets Meg Ryan and blonde Meg Ryan, or Meg Ryan three, and he's like totally smitten with her, and. I mean, it's understandable. This is probably the cutest Meg Ryan has ever been in a movie. And he's just like, you know, she's totally charming and stuff. And he's like, oh, this is great. But then he, he had this plan, I think, to jump in the volcano. Yeah, he's supposed to jump in the volcano. Okay, these natives are, um, they believe in, like, some weird god or something. And they have to appease the volcano with a human sacrifice or else the volcano god comes and destroys their entire island and kills everybody so joe volunteers to jump into the volcano for them to be their sacrifice he volunteers to be the sacrifice because he's got this brain cloud and he's gonna die anyway um so he's 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 um fuck he's on the island He's got a brain cloud. He's going to jump in the volcano. I don't know why Meg Ryan is there. She, I mean, is she, she's got to be like, it can't be, it's got to have like some tourist spot. What is this blonde white woman doing? Maybe she's an anthropologist or something. I, what is she doing with these natives? And like, how racist is that? Like Tom Hanks is falling in love with the only other white woman there. I don't know. So, um, he goes and he jumps in, no, he's going to jump in this volcano, and he gets a call or some sort of message, maybe it's a telegraph or something, I don't think they had cell phones then, he gets a telegraph that, from his doctor, and he's like, the doctor's like, I really, I fucked up, you know, I was too concerned with going on golf trips, uh, you don't have a brain cloud, it's just some other asshole, he's gonna die, you're fine. So now Tom Hanks is like, oh my god, you know, I, I, I went on this crazy journey, and I kind of reclaimed my life, and I was going to die this dignified death, versing a volcano, and now I'm not even going to die. But I think he's like, feels this pressure, or he, to jump in the volcano, or maybe it's like he finds out right before he jumps in the volcano, like he's on the brim of the volcano, and he gets a cell phone call, and the guy's like, hey, you should probably like, get off the fucking volcano, you're fine. So... I guess he decides, I don't want to die, you know, screw these natives, screw their, the God, screw God, screw the natives God, let this island burn, who gives a shit, um, or maybe he doesn't do that, I think maybe he is like, look, I made this promise to these people, and I'm Tom Hanks, God damn it, and I have integrity, and I, I'm going to jump in this volcano anyway, whatever happens, he ends up on the brim of the volcano with this third version of Meg Ryan, and they embrace because they're in love now, and they both jump into the volcano together, and they're like, well, let's give it a fucking double sacrifice, and maybe they don't have to worry about it for, like, six years or something. So they jump into the volcano together, but as luck would have it, um, some sort of, like, lava bubble bursts or something and sends this pillar of hot air up, and Joe and Meg Ryan go shooting out into the air and flying through fucking space or something, and then they land in the water, in the ocean together, and uh, that's pretty much where the movie ends. I think the, you know, they didn't sacrifice, so the entire island burns to the ground, and all those people die. And Joe and Meg Ryan are in the ocean together, alone, with no, oh, maybe the luggage floats by again. That would probably be pretty funny. I don't remember, but... It is a comedy, so I'm going to assume the luggage floated by and they climbed on that luggage again. The, the luggage is like a running joke through this whole movie. So they climb on the luggage and she's just like, what next, Joe? And he's just like, I don't know, let's kiss so this movie can end. And uh, 
that's pretty much how it ends. The uh, Joe versus the volcano, and uh, we all learn a little bit about ourselves along the way.